Jim Holly, SupercrossOnline.com. Here he is, the new champion, Chad Reed. That's got to sound good. Man, that feels awesome. And uh, man, what a neat experience this this year's been. A lot of uh, a lot of great things, you know, a lot of memories for sure, you know, good and bad, and uh, that's that's what makes it uh, that's what makes it all worth it. That's why uh, when we leave this event, you know, we think all summer long about Supercross in January, and uh, I'm excited to live the moment and uh, look forward to next year. Well, I think all the guys in 09 are going to think about Chad Reed. That statement you put down last night. I mean, you didn't have to win the thing, but the race came to you, and you just took it in control. And I got to ask you. As one rider to another, an old one now, that was a beautiful pass you made on that off camber, both on Wyndham and Short, not letting them retaliate. That was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to put myself in position to uh, to have a shot at the win, but you know, the the goal was to uh, to let go of your pride and uh, let go of the battle and, and try win the wall. And uh, you know, Larry Brooks, my team manager, was all night just, hey, don't. Don't be too proud, you know. Don't don't be scared to let that thing go and uh, and get this thing wrapped up. And you know, I wanted to go out with a bang. And uh, when those guys were all out front, I was like, you know what? This is it. You know, this is this is the feeling that I wanted. I just want to be the champ. I don't care about the race win. And uh, you know, and then just the laps kept ticking by, and those guys just kept coming back. You know, I was almost trying to stay out of the battle, and the battle kept coming back to me. And uh, I rode around, didn't battle those guys at all. You know, I just uh, wore Shorty down. You know, I saw the you know, they was getting tired, and uh, the race was getting deep into the you know halfway point. And I just put a pass on him, tried to try to put a pass that he couldn't come back, and uh, just put clean laps together. Kevin made a big mistake before the finish, and you know I jumped right up on him. And uh, same thing, you know, he just he he's been riding a strong season, strongest season I've ever seen Kevin ride. He's been in the top five every year, and uh, but that was uh, that was one of the old K Dubs out there last night. You know, it was a shame. I would have loved to have gone out there and battled. You know, lap for lap, you know, with uh, him whole shot and me second, but it didn't work out that way. And you know, as it worked out, I read a, a just a, a really steady, easy race, and uh, it was really an easy win, an easy a win that I wasn't even trying to get. How important was it to have your mom and dad here? I know you flew them over, and they were so excited when you crossed that finish line. Man, it was, it was really cool. You know, it's uh, it's hard to explain it and, and the emotional feeling that you get. Uh, you know, not a lot of things bring tears to my eyes, and. Uh, you know, to, to walk up and uh, give mom and dad a hug and, and know that they're there and to experience that with them. Uh, 04 was, was something really special. It was the first one, and, uh, and I never got to live that experience, you know. It was, it was kind of a bittersweet, you know, finish in Vegas after the whole AMA thing and you know, the fuel and, you know, what come of it after it would just, just kind of makes this one really special. You know, where we've been and where we've come is, is uh, really cool. Well, Chad, on behalf of uh, Jason Wagner, myself, you know, on the supercrossonline.com, man, I want to congratulate you. Great year and uh, great watching. You look forward to 09. Yeah, thanks. You know, I want to thank you guys. You guys do an awesome job, and uh, I've never actually listened on to the show, and honestly hope I don't ever have to because uh, that means I'm sitting at home on the couch and not at the race. But uh, my mom and dad love it. You know, it's something that they can uh, – Kind of grab a hold of and 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 feel a part of you know I know my mom and dad come and and uh, they hear your voice and they're like that's that's the guy you know you're the you're the voice of Supercross to them and uh, it's something special you know I mean you've traveled a lot you know through your career and through your life and it's uh, it's something pretty neat to to come from a different country and to achieve all this is is pretty special. We well, heard it from Chad Reed, the two-time AMA champ. That's right.